Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin SL TV. Today, we'd like to share how to transfer values to the respective control using the same user form. Let's go to the Developer tab and click on Visual Basic. Double click on the needed user form. Since I have two text boxes here, thus I need two helper controls. In this video, I'm going to make use of command buttons. Let's insert command button at the desired place. Resize if needed. Sometimes the control may not placed at the desired level. Even if we move it to overcome this issue, under the properties of the command button, scroll and look for the top position. Change to the desired level. For this control, instead of having caption, I'm going to delete it and replace with picture using icon. Let's go to the insert tab. Under illustrations, select icons, type and search for the desired icon select and insert then copy back to visual basic under the properties of the command button scroll and look for picture paste it here resize again if needed then press on the control key click on the command button and drag copy for the second command button also scroll and change the top position if needed and now we can proceed to the coding part let's double click on the command button firstly link this command button to the respective text box let's back to the user form Click underneath the text box, check the name, for this case, it's text box 1. Back to the coding part, we should type me dot text box 1. And we should set this control be focused before showing the second user form. For this case, the second form is the date form. And now we can show it. Repeat exactly the same code for the second command button. But this time, we should link to the second text box. In this task, I will send the value to the text box when the user click on a particular day. Therefore, I have to update the code as well. Please allow me to illustrate by using one of these labels. Let's say this label, I would double click it. To send the value to the user form, we have to first call the user form. For this case, it's the select. And we should refer to the active control. And now set equal followed by the value that we need. And we can now close this user form by using a loop me. And the coding part is now done. Let's back to the spreadsheet and see the result. Click on the command button, I will have this form. Click on the command button, I will have the other form. Click on one of the labels, the value is sent to the respective text box. Repeat the same step, we will have the other value to the correct text box, as we can see here. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.